Hello everybody, welcome back. It's your main man, Mr. Korot, or Korot here. Today we're playing a game called Eternal Destiny. As you see it on the screen here, let me go ahead and slide it over like so. Boom, shakalaka. As you see it on the screen here, Eternal Destiny animated animation card battle game. We're going to click it to jump in and get started. So as you see, here's what it looks like. Now before we do anything, I'm, uh, before my dogs go crazy, I want to let you guys know this game was actually developed by a group called Office 5656. They created it and their publisher was a group called De Diga. 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 I'm going to get it right one of these times saying that, but I have to look. That name's awkward. By Diga. So, anyway, anyway. They are. Uh, they created this awesome little game. It's a card game, also a battling game mixed together. It's really pretty outstanding. It's a. Uh, a little bit of a different take on a card game. So we're going to jump in and see what it is. Um, there's all kind of cool characters. Um, when you do go to Steam to play this, because this game's not free, you do have to pay for it. It's only $10. But you do have to pay for it. And it's really actually worth it. It's really amazing if you like card games. So, I mean, it's really freaking breathtaking. Um, but the thing with this game that, that drew me to it that I liked so far was the fact that it sat there and said it was an adult game, so you know the cards are going to actually have cool looks to them. And there might be actually some sexy, sexy looking cards, so you know, a lot of people like card games like that. Like me, I love Code Set, and Code Set had some of the sexy cards, and it, it was an awesome game. So, with that said, with that said, we're going to jump into the game here and see what it has to offer because this is my first time playing it. I just loaded it up, jumped on to do a video of it, so I do not know what the hell I'm doing. This is just me creating my character at the beginning. Uh, because well, all that happened was I logged in, it gave me a login reward because it does that. And then it says, firstly, here's a card as a present for me. So apparently we're getting some cards. You can choose from one out of three attributes, cybers, demons, and callus. Okay. They can select a card that catches your fancy. Alright, so cyber looks like they're tankish kind of deal. Demons look like they're sexy, or supposed to seduce you. And Kells look like angels are just like, I don't know. I don't know what that's supposed to represent. It looks like wings, so we got wings, spiky looking thing, and then a triad looking thing, a, a circle with weak word symbols. Anyway, yellow, red, green. Of course, I'm going to be red because I like red. So we're going to choose this. Now watch this. She winks. Look at that, she's winking at you. She's like, hey, that oh, and she's glowing. What? She's glowing. That's awesome. She's glowing and she's winking at you. Like, come here, big boy. Oh, anyway, anyway, anyway. Race, deity, angel, devil, spirit, undead, human, machine, elder gods. Damn, there's a lot of races in it. So here we go, we're going to click. We want demons. Would you like demon card? How about if I say no? Will you let me choose again? Cool. I want to see what this one looks like. Okay, she winks at you. And her symbol glows. Oh, she flies off. What the shit? Alright. Okay, what the Kells look like? She winks at you. Winks at you. Her boobs jump. What the hell? That was awkward. So she looks at you and her boobs jump. Anyway, anyway, we're not going to do that one. I like the demon. We're going to choose the demon. I want the demon card, yes. You can check the cards that you choose in deck setting. Okay, you will battle against opponent's decks in the game mode. Modes available under Story, Dungeon, Challenge, and Training Facility. I hope you will build a deck that you can be proud of. Well then, please enjoy the game. Okay, so here we go. Oh! I love your voice, even though I don't know what you're saying. I love your voice. Hello, Trini. Welcome to Agent School. Okay. That voice sounds so cute. This is the Agent Training Facility, where we give you training on the basics of being an agent. Yeah, it sounds awesome. The training took curriculum is divided into knowledge and combat portions 
It's very intensive. Okay. If you can graduate from agent school, you will you'll be considered a can competent agent. Okay. Agents are our final hope, born to save our world from this chaotic world. So I hope you'll stick with us and become an excellent agent. Oh, gosh, now how silly of me. I forgot to introduce myself. Um, my name is Salafi. I think it's supposed to be Selfie. Uh, Salaf. Salaf. I'm the agent coordination officer of the agency, the organization that manages and trains all the agents in the world. Okay. I'm also in charge of looking after new agents, so if there is anything you need help with, please feel free to ask me. Well then, let's begin our training. Oh. First, let me see if you have what it takes to be an agent. Hmm. Could you follow me into this room? Oh, I don't mean anything by that. I'm just showing you around, alright? Um... <laughs> okay, you want me to go into the room and now this other girl shows up. Okay, here she is. Let me introduce her to you. This is Ayan Sofa Ara. She supervises agency headquarters and the agents themselves. Oh, shit. According to her, she currently is in a temporary physical form. The details are pretty complicated, so I don't get it either. The true form is that of an, of an AI construct built in cyberspace using extraterrestrial technology. Okay? Boy, hard to believe she exists, huh? Selfie, I think that was one sentence too many. Oh, shit. She is looking at us so evil like she wants to rip our heads off. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. In any case, your agent aptitude test will be handled by Ann Sofa Hara. <clears throat> Please go ahead then. Okay, person with weird name. Once again, I am Ann Sofa Hara's human communication unit. This form of mind, I suppose you could call it a terminal for Ann Sofa Hara. To communicate with humanity effectively, I decided that using a similar human form would be for the best. Oh, I see. That's true. It's much easier to talk to a human than to a machine. Selfie, please don't interrupt the conversation. Oh, I'm sorry. To return to the topic, in this test, I will check what kind of person you are as well as whether you have the aptitude an aptitude to become an agent, okay? Although it's a test, it does not require effort on your part. Or, or does, it does not require effort on your part. All you have to do is immerse yourself in my virtual space, okay? And the testing will be carried out automatically. Well then, let's begin the test at once. I'll be over real quick. Good luck. I hope you will do well. Now please close your eyes and relax. Yes, that is good. Input your mind. Um, I will count down from three. Your soul will then separate from your body and be sent into your virtual space. You are weird, girl. Three, two, one, go. All right. That was the quickest lap dance I've ever gotten. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. Ah, oh, this is incredible. Welcome back. That didn't take long, did it? More importantly, you did it. You passed the aptitude test. What the hell test did I pass? All I heard was her sit there and go, Oh my god, this feels incredible. What the f What the hell's going on here? <laughs> that was not right. Alright. On top of, on top of that, uh, it seems like you did way better than any of us had expected. Even so poor uh, was surprised. Hey, I have a good feeling about you. This just sounds so dirty. Oh, oops. I shouldn't be talking so much to you now. You must be tired. Have a little rest and then we'll begin real training. Alright then. Rest well. I don't know what the hell's going on, but that whole sentence right there just did sound perverted. Okay? How are you feeling? Not so tired now, I hope. Why would I be tired in the first place? I don't remember doing a damn thing. Oh, I remember hearing her sit there and go, oh, it feels so good. 
I, I don't want to know what was going on. The train that coming up will be a little tough, so prepare yourself for it, okay? Right, let's begin agent training, okay? First off, be aware that there are three factions consisting of humans, angels, and demons. Respectively, are in war of supremacy right now, I hope. You, as an aspiring agent, are expected to remain neutral toward all of these factions. To do that, you will need to learn some basic things about each of these three factions. I will now take you to meet some instructors who are familiar with each of these factions for some lectures and the basics. Let's get the ball rolling with the human-centric cyber faction. Okay, so we're going to be doing that. This is a cyber dome. You guys probably heard that. That's because it's storming over here. Don't freak out. This is the cyber dome domain training facility. Hmm. You're the newbie. Wow, you sure don't look like you got it together. Did they just hire anyone these days? You want to be a prick? You're the one holding a damn stuffed animal. Alice, stop that. You are you supposed to be Alice in Wonderland? What? All I did was say the truth. No, you didn't. Oh, come on. Um, this is Alice the Telepathist, the instructor of the Cyber Domain facility. More like Alice the Jerk. She's always a little rude like that, so don't take it to your heart, okay? I ain't gonna take it to heart. You need to go get laid. You wanna be rude like that? I'm not chatter yet. Can I start the lesson already? No. Go to hell. I wanna hear your lesson? Yes, please go ahead. Cyber is a faction that is centered on technology, technological enhanced humans. Okay, we great leaps in advanced technology development and robotic all the way you can. We also evolve in animal intelligence, transmission of technology from space, as well as training of telepathic individuals. This is how we're building our forces to defend against the angels and demons that have shown up on Earth. I suppose you're interested in who makes up the cybers, huh? We've got not just humans or things, but many other non-human members who don't like the idea of angels or demons running the world. Such as, let's see, there are yukai and vampires who's been in hiding until now. There's also people with superpowers who's been living in the shadows of society all along as well. On top of that, there are beings from outer space and visitors from other dimensions. We've got quite the motley bunch here. The goal of cyber is to bring back the old days when we didn't have angels and demons. Though the power balance is really fragile, so we're co cooperating with the agency. Keep that in mind. So now, how is that? I hope you understand the cybers now. Yeah, I understand you. Good, so you get a come to really at least. We're moving on to combat training next. You're going to learn about how to battle. Ready? Let's go. Starting the battle. Do you wish to save the game first? Yeah, because I don't know what the fuck going on. Okay, so I saved. Let's do this. So we click deck. And we click confirm. Oh, 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 I love that freaking music yet. It looks like this is your first battle. In that case, I'll specifically be your guide this time. Okay. Victory conditions. Subdue the opponent's commander or wipe out the opponent's deck. You can win by either defeating the opponent's commander or by wiping out their area deck. Once you further progress the game, you'll come across special victory conditions and keep an eye out for them. You can check the victory conditions and information on commanders by clicking the information button. Alright. Opponent's HP 1500 MP recovery 8. Hey, how you doing? Don't know what the hell you said. Commanders have their own special ability. These fall under two categories which affect the entire deck and these which only affect the command down. Strong cards will have proportionally strong abilities. You should get a strong card to set to be a commander. Okay. Oh, here we go. Music starts. Yes. The player who takes the initiative is randomly chosen. Having the initiative allows you to attack first. However, the player who gets second We'll start with twice the amount of cards compared to the player who holds initiative. Well, duh, makes sense. So how many doesn't necessarily put you at an advantage? It looks like this time you're going first. Let's conduct a preemptive attack. Well, duh. All right. 
First, let's place a card in a card slot. Placing a card into a card slot requires cost. Okay, what's my cost? The MP on the upper left of the screen, boom, 8. It's a total cost you can use this turn. It's important to keep an eye on it during the battle. Hey, how you doing, sexy lady? Wrong brain. Please place a Shambalu card on the demon card slot. Alright, so we're going to use a Shambalu on the demon card slot that costs 3. Oh, uh. Alright. A card can have one of the following three attributes Cyber Demon and Kells. Card slots and other hands can have one of the following four attributes Cyber Demon, Kells, and Neutral. As you see, if the card and the card slot attributes match, the card will, will power up. If the card and card slots have the same attribute, the card will power up. The next. Be best are demon cards and cyber slots. Kills cards on demon slots and cyber cards on kill slots. Okay. You still have some MP remaining. It looks like you have a duplicate card of the one you placed in the card slot in your hand. Try placing that Shinobi from your hand on top of the Shinobi in the slot. Okay. So what we're going to do, we're going to upgrade our card. Evolution! Oh, damn! That card's sexy as hell! As you can see, the Shambu has evolved and powered up. By doing this, you evolve an unevolved card into an evolved card, and the evolved card into a super evolved card, and so on and so on. It looks like you still have some MP remaining. In that case, you should select any card from your hand and place it on top of the Shambu on that slot. I bet I don't want to. I want to sit here and look at that card for a minute. I want to get card detail. I want to see. No! No! I want to see what it involves you. See how gorgeous that card is? It's all covered here, so you can't see nothing. The card's hot. That's a hot card. Boom, Chagalaga. Alright, so now we gotta put this over. Why are we putting this over? Shimbley has been further powered up. Although you will lose this card in your hand, you can further strengthen the card on card slots by doing this. Please keep in mind that that affinity of the two cards attribute affects how much its power is up. It looks like you can place one more card in a card slot. Please take any card from your hand and place it in an empty card slot. Now I know which one I'm placing. I'm placing it right there like so. Bam! Empty. Oh, how you doing? Initiative changes. Oh! Well, now I'll teach you about attacking. You can attack an opponent's card by placing one of your cards from a card slot on top of it. By placing a card which has been placed in a card slot on top of an opponent's empty card slot, you can attack their command. The opponent has an empty slot, save Shambuli from now and attack the opponent. The opponent has an empty slot. Save Shibuli from now and attack the opponent. Okay. Looks like the opponent card protected their commander. As you see, cards can be acted as shields for commanders. Okay? However, a card can only defend the commander once a turn. There, furthermore, if the card is defended, then the commander will receive damage. This is known as a piercing attack. You can also activate skills. Cool. However, weak cards tend to have impressive, impressive skills, so once you have more cards, please try out the other skills. At the end your turn, even though we have MPs left, click on end turn button. This will end your turn. Looks like you've grasped the base of the battle. Now try defeating the opponent with your own strength. Good luck. Well, I'm going to beat the opponent. I don't need damn luck. <clears throat> Sorry. You lost. Get out of here. How did you not die? Alright, so we're gonna put you there. Put you there. I'm gonna put you there. Put you on top of this. Ooh, 
upgrade. Let's see what you evolve into. Hello there. How you doing? All right. <clears throat> Got prom, bruh. Was that Cosmos? All right, so we gotta beat somebody. If you wanna beat somebody? All right, so we upgrade her to this. Go and upgrade her to that. Alright, so now we got upgrades, we're going to make this attack this. Plop! Ah. 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 Okay, it's dead. I'm going to make you attack that. 100. It's a monster! Oh! Oh! Alright, you attack this. Oh, 150 dead. You you attack this one? That's 25% of the damage. Oh! Oh! You dead. And now to end this. Oh! That's all she wrote. I've tapped with them all. I can't do anything else, I don't think. I can't upgrade. Upgrade you, and I'll save that for intern. Better put out all your cards, they won't matter. Oh, hello. Damn, you have a lot of attack with that card, buddy. Alright, so what we need to do is have you attack this. You have not gonna attack. You will though, you'll attack that. Alrighty, you will attack this. And of course, we have some empty slots, so boom. 200, I take the 50. You take 920, good game, I win. That's all she wrote. Okay. 500 experience, 1000 gold, and whatever the hell that is. Alright, so we beat the cyber. Huff, huff, that was impressive. I suppose that means and so far our allies are pretty accurate. Alrighty then, that's the end of the cyber lecture. We still have a long way to go before training is done. So you better keep at it. You've passed Alice's class, let's keep up to the next training session. Okay. Oh, we're at the demon training session. So who's the person here in my facility? We will learn about the demons and yucca how centric demons. Hee <laughs> hee, you're the new You look pretty stupid, hey? Um, this is Gold, the instructor for the demon's domain training facility. You look like a jerk. I heard the rumors you're a pretty good trainee, it seems. I can't wait to see what you've got. Let's start the lecture right away. Yes, please go ahead. Demons are the faction of demons that have been revived on Earth. We hate being tied down by rules, so we're going to make a whole a world where everyone's free from this sort of thing. We got monsters, yuka, humanoid creatures from other worlds. Our gates are open to all, so I guess our ridiculous diversity are selling point. But we all like to do our own thing, so if there's too many groups, it'll become impossible to keep track of all of them. Because of that, most of us form small groups with a powerful leader. Surprisingly, so the power balance is pretty stable. Our goal is to summon the extremely powerful 12 demons onto Earth and to make the world even more chaotic than it is now. 
This is just a huge echo. If we manage to summon the 12 demons, putting up a fight against them as well, let's just say it might be impossible. How is it going so far? Uh, Y'all sound interesting. Guess the first hold all clear, then I guess we'll be moving on to combat training. What you got? Well, let's do this. Save the battle before all you guys. Save it before. I want a battle. Alright, we're gonna do this real quick. Alright, we're gonna see exactly how good this opponent is. 10% chance of blocking, bias type, physical type, caused by 30%. Okay. Player plays first. Okay. Well, since I'm a demon, since I'm a demon, we're gonna go black. And we're gonna go black. A duka toka, duka duka, duka duka duka. Guess what? I got you. Don't you see this? Hey, hey, you, you stop that shit. See what you're doing. Evolve. Gotcha. Evolve you. And I should be able to get to play one more, which will be you. So that should put you up to like a thousand, right? It does. Nice. Good. Good, good, good. I'm gonna kill you off. Oh, that's hot. That's hot. We're gonna kill you off. Alright. And of course, you would do it in all of that one too. So that card is disabled, huh? I'm okay with that. Gonna upgrade you. Put you here. Put all you to whatever that is. And then take you and upgrade you. You will attack this one. Alright, so we both just attack each other for our damage. Awesome. And I think that's all I can move, right? No, I can attack with you. 119 damage to you. If you drag a card in one of your slots or your opponent's attack card, you can defend. So I gotta defend with my HP, huh? Alright. Alright, I see how this is gonna be. It's gonna be like this. It's alright then. So I think it's time y'all die. We'll put 400 on you. I'm gonna put. Put. I'm gonna put 400 on you. You, however, are gonna destroy that thing. Hey, hey. Hey, hey, you're dead. Alright, uh, you wanna destroy that one? And you will destroy you will destroy this one. Black. And then of course you're gonna do 762 damage to her. Bam! Alright. 
Oh, and she evolved. Oh, that's hot. <laughs> that is a real good card. Just saying. Just saying. Alright, so first things first. You can put 900 HP on somebody right now. But we won't. We'll put 400 attack on this one. Make this one destroy this. Boom. Dead. We'll make this one destroy this. And of course, you'll see how we're going to end it now. We want to end it by having this one. Or not this, this one. We're going to have her kill her own self. Bam! That's all she wrote. Good game, we win. We got a card pack, 500 and 1,000. Ugh, you're so strong. You're the one this powerful as a trainer. You might be worth watching, huh? I can't wait to see what you got. Let's see how far you'll go. I was Ghoul's. I uh, was Ghoul Lecture. You might feel like your head's going to explode with all the information, but let's keep going and try to find the next training session. Which next one is the Angels? This is the Kells Domain Training Facility. You'll learn about the Angels and Spirits Centrix Kells here. Oh, that's hot. Told you guys this game was going to be for adults. That, that's a hot character. Nice to meet you. I think, <clears throat> I think Angelus of the Angel Hurries and our trained agency here at the Kellers Domain Training Facility. Alright. I'm going to talk about stuff that's a little hard, so try to keep up, alright? Uh, she's probably not quite what you expect. Please don't mind it. Alright then, please go ahead with the lecture. Okay. Mm, let's see, Kells is a faction centered on the de deities that have been involved on Earth. We're governed by the 12 angels who have various purposes of their own. These 12 angels are really strong. They have about as much power as the 12 demons, but are bound by all kinds of strangest rules. So they can't come out onto Earth as easily. See? Such a shame, isn't it? It's not for those rules, getting rid of those demons would be a cinch. And Kells don't like what human civilization is doing with the world, destroying nature and all that. It would be lovely if we could, come, could make humans give up the technology and make the world a place where everyone lives by strict rules as God does. Yep, I think that's about it. I hope you'll see and learn more with your own eyes in the future. How is that? Do you understand what Kells? Yeah. Right, well done. Let's move on to a mock battle then, shall we? Are you ready? Here I come. I'm gonna save folks and we're gonna call this video. We're gonna save, we're gonna call the video now. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. I mean just wanted to give you a little bit of a look in there. Next time we come back, we'll be loading it up and going in there and taking on the angels and beating the angels. So yeah, with that said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Cool, this pretty cool little game called Eternal Destiny. It's really fun. I'm going to love it. So I hope you guys do too. And with that said, this is Karat, and I will catch you guys next time. You guys got to play you some games. Let me know about it. And I will see all of y'all later. Bye, everybody. You guys got there and have you some fun.